Hi, I'm Mark Helper from the University of Texas at Austin. I'm with the Department of Geological Sciences there, and I'm a field geologist. I've come up here to HMP to work with Pascal Lee and Dr. Assam Hege and this crew from Hamilton Sunstrand to perform some experiments that relate to robotic follow-up to human exploration, particularly as it might apply to the moon. And I'm here largely because I'm involved with a committee that's interested in preparing the next generation of astronauts to uh, do surface science on the moon. That, that group is called FEET, it's a field exploration analysis team, and our group was asked to participate in this experiment, which is being run through NASA Ames Research Center by Maria Wallet and Pascal Lee, Isam Hege, to look at how we might follow on human exploration with robotic exploration, and of course HMP is an excellent analog site to answer that question. So we're looking at scenarios for doing lunar surface geology that, uh, at this analog site to explore what we can do with a robot versus what requires human field work. And the approach this year is to plan traverses that will take us out across the landscape to do field geology over a very short period of time in an environment that simulates that we'd have on the moon, and including suited traverses in, in the spacesuit provided by Hamilton Sunstrand to see what we can do both from this vehicle, which simulates the lunar exploration rover, and then perhaps what we could also do after we leave with a robot, after we've had a chance to assess what we can accomplish in the eight hour time period that we have, what's left over for a robot to do. It's often thought robots would serve as good reconnaissance tools, but it's also very likely that we'd want to use them to follow up on human activities, given the amount of time that might be available after we've left the surface. So this is the first year of a, of a three or four year study to look at that question and we've completed both the geological and geophysical traverses. We've had a successful time here, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what we can do next year when we come up with the robots. Okay.